Technology Thursdays with Dre and Smiley. Smiley, man, I got something for you today. So I was reading an article online. It talks about what everyone's been talking about recently around AI, which is the supposed grandfather of AI, uh, Jeffrey Hinton, leaving Google because of his concerns about the direction AI is going. Um, have you had a chance to check out that article? And if so, what do you think about Jeffrey's, uh, perspective of, you know, there's a, a risk, there's some danger down the road here in terms of the path AI is taking. I, I, I am familiar with him, but briefly I scanned his information, but you know, a couple of years ago, Elon Musk was afraid of AI because it's going to take over the world. Now, this guy's a little afraid because it learns 10,000 times faster than everyone else. You know, I, I think I don't think it's going to be that bad. I mean, it's possible there's the human mind is, is powerful and AI is just a little faster component, but it can only do what we allow it to do. For example, if you code it to do something nefarious, then it'll be nefarious. Like when the people I go back to the 40s when the scientists who thought of the nuclear they were in investigating science and they come up with this nuclear, the atom bomb and all that stuff. They didn't know that they didn't want us to use it to blow up people. Mm -hmm. However, you always get some, I guess, bad actors as, as the mainstream says. So I don't, I don't look at AI that way. I look at it as a, a tool and as a tool, it enhances. You put a power drill in a kid's hand, then he probably drills himself. You put a power drill in a, carpenter's hand and he, he uses it to his best ability i look at ai the same way what yeah. about you dre yeah you know it's funny I'm, I'm always hesitant to talk about ai only because i don't want years later to sound like um someone who's talking about email for the first time like what is this email thing what is this world wide web thing and just sounding really ignorant but with that in mind i will say that you know the benefits of ai are tremendous, right? Um, is his concern valid? I don't know enough about AI to say yes or no. Um, I think with any new technology, you know, there's always concerns. Here's what gives me pause and, you know, I, I want to learn more. So this guy is considered like the grandfather, or I'm sorry, the godfather of AI. And he has concerns so are those concerns because he's a, I believe he's like 75, 76, somewhere around there. He's in his mid seventies. Is his concerns because based on the fact that he just may not be nimble enough to, right, to move as fast as this AI is developing? Is that, is that kind of the source of his concern? Maybe he doesn't realize it. Or is his concern based on, you know, decades and decades of experience working with AI and realizing, whoa, we've just created something that we will not be able to keep our arms around. I don't know the answer to that, but that's what, you know, I start, I start to think about in terms of like, you know, is this something to be concerned about? You mentioned the drill, right? So any tool in the right hands, right, will be an effective tool. Conversely, a tool, in the, you know, in the hands of the wrong person can be used for uh, evil, for lack of a better word. Uh, those are my, those are my, my two cents there. Well, we'll, we'll give, give me your additional thoughts. I, I think if he definitely has way more knowledge than we have in the pro public domain since he created AI and He's like Frankenstein. He created a monster, perhaps, but but this monster can be controlled. Um, I, I think look, look at the guy who thought of the gun. He probably thought of the gun for hunting animals. Now we're using it to kill each other. Well, maybe AI may have the same trajectory. It's it's supposed to be used for one thing. It's intended use, but then you put it in the hand of people as quote unquote the media wants to say mental illness. They're going to use it differently. So I look at AI, and I don't see AI yet being as detrimental as a gun. Now, of course, the future may change this. As we get more information, more knowledge, someone will look back at this and say, yeah, those dudes or Kevin didn't smile. He didn't know what he was talking about. It's possible because as we get more information, we change our perspective. But 
I don't I don't see AI. I look at the car. Think about the car. They didn't have traffic lights when they first came out with the cars. People was crashing in each other. Someone created up a light and now you slow down or you created a freeway. So whatever AI is, we're going to put the proper guardrails so we get the, the maximum use out of it. And other people invent things to make it so it's not detrimental to society. Yeah. So in terms of, you know, the question, uh, Jeffrey Hinton, is he uh, is he on to something here? It's, you know, something for you guys to consider and talk about. Uh, we both use and love AI. We'll continue to use it. I think it's safe to say we're both eager to see what uh, the future holds for AI. You guys have a great Thursday and we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>